It's the Monkey Head Nebula uh, NGC, new general catalog, 2174, 2175. It's about six and a half thousand light years away, and we can see it. Let's take a look at it in both broadband and narrowband. Welcome to Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. I've always wanted to shoot the Monkey Head Nebula. Ever since I saw it a couple years ago on uh, Chuck's astrophotography page, Chuck AU, he had some spectacular images of the Monkey Head in the narrow band filters using what's called the Hubble palette, or using the uh, sulfur and then the uh, uh, hydrogen alpha and then the oxygen filters to combine to produce these images. I've been jealous, and now I want to get in the act as well. I purchased last summer, as you remember, a uh, monochrome camera, the ASI 1600MM Pro, and with that I'm able to capture the narrow band images. I got the filter wheel as well. And the camera itself, here it is right here, uh, with the filter wheel, uh, this is an electronic filter wheel, and it has five different filters in that. And I do have the hydrogen alpha, the uh, sulfur two, and the oxygen three. I also have a green and a blue filter uh, in this filter wheel. Now, I have the field flattener on the uh, uh, telescope, uh, and it probably adjusted the, uh, the back focus for this. And then with this camera, I'm able to shoot the narrow band. But I also wanted to see it in broadband using a one-shot color camera. And that's what I have done. I used the Altair uh, 294C uh, with the Orion telescope, the uh, ED80, uh, with the uh, focal length of 480 millimeters. And with that, I was able to capture the monkey head nebula in both broadband and narrow band. Let's take a look at the final products. Well, the first thing I want to do is open up Nina, which I have pre-opened up so far, and going into the equipment, uh, connecting uh, my um, camera, and the uh, camera here in this case is, well, it's already connected. The uh, um, ZWO ASI 1600MM Pro, and then the filter wheel, I got that connected as well. And uh, then going on from there, uh, we'll connect the telescope and the guider later. Right now, I want to go into the Sky Atlas, and uh, this is the Monkey Head Nebula um, NGC 2174, and I set that for Framing Assistant, and it comes up right here. And then from that, I wanted to um, uh, uh, replace the sequin target. There it is, right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, the settings here. And I'm going to say, I'm going to take 24 exposures uh, at 300 seconds, that's five minutes, so that's two hours right there. And I'm going to use the H-alpha filter, and then we're going to dither every frame. I like to dither. And I'm going to set the gain on this uh, particular example for uh, 200 on the ASA with the offset of uh, 20. Um, the H-alpha filter does filter out quite a bit of light, hence I have to up the gain somewhat. The um, um, uh, regular gain or the um, unity gain is at um, 139 for this camera. So I also want to do the other filters so I just simply add those and uh, let's add the um, sulfur. Again I'm going to take two hours of that and then add the uh, oxygen right there and everything else is the same. So that's all set and I'm ready to go. I'm going to click on the uh, start guiding, uh, slew to the target, and uh, then uh, uh, center on the target. And I'm going to set the autofocus on and uh, that'll go and so forth. Um, and I'm going to do it also on a filter change. So that's the settings in Nina and once Nina is going, it'll do all this automatically. All right, going into Pics and Sight, I can show you the uh, raw images that were stacked in the three different channels. And the first of all is the hydrogen alpha. And there you can see a lot of emission in the uh, red uh, hydrogen uh, area. And if you look at the oxygen, uh, somewhat oxygen, mostly related to the blue. And then the uh, sulfur, uh, not too much, usually associated with the green. 
Well, one thing nice about the uh, using a monochrome camera is you can combine these images um, into many different forms. And if you take the uh, hydrogen and then the oxygen and oxygen for red, green, and blue, uh, this is what it looks like. And that's very similar to the um, one-shot color camera. Uh, this is the one-shot color camera uh, final product, uh, leaning a little bit on the red side there, but uh, I got a better picture coming up at the end of the video. Uh, but you can see not much difference between the um, the two. The, this is the one-shot color, and this is the monochrome camera using the hydrogen and then oxygen, oxygen uh, for the uh, filters. Meanwhile, uh, let's take a look at the um, hydrogen, sulfur, oxygen combination using the same filters. And there you can see the image at that point. But uh, most people like to use is the SHO or the Hubble palette, the sulfur, hydrogen, and oxygen. And after eliminating the uh, strong green uh, from this using the uh, SCNR uh, value, uh, you could see a really nice looking nebula here. And uh, a little bit too much there. Uh, but there you can see uh, the golden edges, the golden edges, the blue nebulosity in the middle, and overall uh, a rather interesting looking picture of the monkey head in narrow band. On a side note, after I finished taking the picture of the monkey head as the uh, nebula went behind the trees, I had Nina to put the telescope over on the other side of the sky and look for M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy. And then it was set up and I went to bed. Now, I processed a picture to see what the uh, uh, wide field view of M51 would look like uh, with the uh, uh, Orion telescope. and. Yeah, I picked up the, the galaxy itself, but I was amazed at how many distant galaxies, far distant galaxies, I could see with a little uh, uh, three inch telescope. Now, preview of coming attractions, I have a five inch, 5.1 inch telescope on the way, 130 millimeter telescope uh, on the way. Uh, it's back ordered at the moment, but uh, I'm beginning to wonder, what is that gonna look like with M51 and all those galaxies off in the distance. Previews of coming attractions. Well, I'm very impressed with the Hubble palette uh, view, the bluish color with the golden, golden edges of the nebula. The um, narrow band filters really paid off and it's looking great. New targets are on my list, the uh, Seagull Nebula and the uh, Jellyfish Nebula using the same techniques. Now, if you like my page, feel free to subscribe. I enjoy that. And I thank all my subscribers so far. I'm, I'm approaching 1500. I'm just that close away from 1500 subscribers. So thank you very, very much. Now, remember the heavens are just filled with majestic glory, all in a sky near you. Unless you need rain, clear skies, everyone.